Today is February 23rd, 2019. I'm Brent Nally, and this is a two-month update of the mesenchymal stem cell treatment that I had at Dream Body Clinic in Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico on December 20th, 2018. I've committed to do an update every month on this channel about how my progress is going from this treatment, so you can check the description below for last month's update. And right now, I'm feeling pretty good. My ankle is doing much better, so is my knee. My shoulder, as you can see from the one month update, was doing a lot better. However, I've been playing a little bit too much dodgeball the last couple of weeks, and I definitely re-injured my right shoulder a little bit just from throwing too much dodgeball. So these stem cells have been in me for about two months now, the umbilical cord derived stem cells. Again, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, check the description below for my mesenchymal stem cell playlist of all the treatment procedures and explanations of how this is beneficial. I also did a book review of the Stem Cells A Rising Tide book by Dr. Neo Reardon, and I will also be doing many other book reviews on this channel. These are some of the books that I've read over the last 10 years or so and how they've benefited my life. So this channel right now is about stem cells in this video, but I'm also just focusing on how you can greatly improve your life and self growth and just finding all the exciting things that are going on in the world right now and experimentation in the safest, least risky way possible. For about the last six months, I've been living a really healthy lifestyle. And how I define that is first starting with getting great sleep every night and making sleep the foundation of your life. I also did a book review on Matthew Walker's book, Why We Sleep. You can check the link in the description below for those uh, book reviews as well. So I've been getting about seven hours of sleep every night for the last six months and definitely the last two months since this procedure. And many nights I've been getting eight, nine, even 10 hours of sleep. And a few nights I've even got 11 hours of sleep. So I've been getting really good sleep and that's been allowing me to have high energy, exercise, and doing certain rehab exercises for the last 10 days or so. The last video I uploaded on this channel showed a chiropractic treatment from my good friend, Dr. Brandon Thomas at his mobility clinic practice in Santa Cruz, California. That's been greatly improving my right ankle and knee, not so much my shoulder, but again, that's because I've really messed up my shoulder in the past couple weeks. I have faith in you, Dr. Thomas. So if you're curious, check out that video on how that has been greatly improving my pain and mobility in my right ankle and knee. And Dr. Thomas also gave me exercises to be doing every single day that are gonna greatly improve my ankle and knee. Dr. Thomas believes that my pelvic stability is a little bit off and so are my glute. So these exercises specifically target those areas. Yesterday, my wife filmed me doing a few of these exercises outside, so we'll cut to that clip now. Today is February 22nd, 2019. I'm Brent Nally, and today I'm gonna to show you five exercises that help with pelvic stability and strengthen your glute muscles. I am not a doctor, I'm not a medical trained physician. I was recently just taught these exercises by my chiropractor and friend, Dr. Brandon Thomas. You can check the YouTube description below for his YouTube channel. He'll also have videos about these exercises. I've just been doing these exercises for about the last 10 days and they've already greatly improved with some chronic musculoskeletal conditions that I have, including a right ankle sprain from about 14 years ago when I was 20 years old. It was a third degree ankle sprain, really painful. I never got the physical therapy that I needed on that. So it's just kind of built up scar tissue and gotten worse over time. So I'm finally tackling this so I can hopefully get it improved and these exercises are helping a lot.
I've been doing those exercises every single day for about the last 10 days and plan to keep doing those indefinitely. Some days I've been doing them in the evening as well, but I'm doing them every single morning for about 20 minutes. The research shows that when you exercise for at least five minutes, within 30 minutes after waking up, your brain produces more human growth hormone, which is a really good thing. Your brain produces the most human growth hormone when you sleep at night by far but just exercising for five minutes within 30 minutes after waking also helps release more human growth hormone. It really helps get my day going, staying active and helping me recover and get over these injuries. In addition to these exercises, I've also been doing intermittent fasting for about the last six months, about 16 hours every single day at minimum, but on average I'm getting to about 18 to 20 hours without any calories whatsoever, so just water. And some days I'm getting to 22, 24 hours, and I even do about a 48 hour fast every month or two. I haven't done one in probably about five weeks or so right now though. But the research that I've seen shows that intermittent fasting helps your body produce more of its own mesenchymal stem cells to promote more healing and growth and regeneration. Stay subscribed to this channel. I'll be doing more videos on intermittent fasting and the benefits if you're interested. I've also been busy the last nine days watching a documentary series called The Healing Miracle. It's nine episodes and every episode is about two hours on average. The founder of Dream Body Clinic, Josh Kettner, told me about this series and I've greatly enjoyed watching it, but it's taken a lot of time. I'm still continuing my mesenchymal stem cell research on a daily basis and I recommend you guys check out this Healing Miracle documentary series as well. I was able to watch it for free in the 24 hour period that they were releasing each episode, but you can pay for the series on your own if you'd like. My main takeaways for the series are that A, stem cells are incredible. Our bodies cannot survive for more than one minute without our own mesenchymal stem cells. They're in every single tissue of our body. They're incredibly important. Most of the trailblazers in the stem cell industry right now globally, and these are highly regarded doctors from anywhere from chiropractors to naturopathic doctors to orthopedic surgeons, medical doctors of all sorts. These are very, very credible people who have been experimenting with mesenchymal stem cells for sometimes many, many years, all the way to people who are new to it. And they pretty much all have a similar story of being very skeptical at first, but just continuing to see miraculous results over and over and over again, to the point where they said, I need to look into this a little bit more. I have a pretty similar story and I'm hoping for those miraculous results myself. I haven't quite seen those yet right here at month two. However, I'm aware that the mesenchymal stem cells that I received from umbilical cords, specifically the Wharton's jelly, should be staying inside of me for about 11 to 12 months and we're on month two right now so they're not replicating inside of me but they are still in there and they are still signaling to the other cells in my body to heal so the chiropractic treatment that i received the past two mondays and will continue to receive every monday for the foreseeable future from my chiropractor and friend dr brandon thomas I believe is greatly helping break up a lot of that scar tissue that I have from my chronic condition in my ankle, in my knee, and my shoulder. So I'm very optimistic that this, along with the mesenchymal stem cells, will help my body heal. The Healing Miracle documentary series can be its own video, but I want to say one more thing on it before we move along. This is very early right now in stem cell research, but a number of the practitioners, experts in the Healing Miracle stated that 
they believe mesenchymal stem cell therapies are going to be on the scale of vaccines and antibiotics. So very, very, very important to helping people live longer, healthier lives and a genie out of the bottle type thing. And this channel is all about genie out of the bottle type things like cryptocurrency, mesenchymal stem cells, intermittent fasting, sleep. Most people sadly in 2019 still just don't know much about sleep, how beneficial it is for you and how it can greatly improve your life if you're sleeping smarter and getting the right type of sleep every single night. So stay subscribed to this channel and I'll be sharing all sorts of secrets on how you can greatly improve your life. So to summarize, I've talked about a lot of different things in this video. I wanted to give the audience a clear understanding of the lifestyle that I'm living. I'll be 34 next month in March. I'm pretty young. I'm very healthy. I'm living an active, healthy lifestyle, in my opinion, getting plenty of sleep and trying to maximize my body's own creation of its mesenchymal stem cells by doing things like intermittent fasting, sleeping well, and exercising regularly. I played two and a half hours of basketball this morning and I feel great. So obviously I'm not some cripple. I'm not your average person who can't walk, who's using mesenchymal stem cells as a last resort when they're maybe in their 40s, 50s, 60s, or even 80s and some of these stories and documentaries that I've seen about mesenchymal stem cells. So the nitty gritty, how am I actually doing? My ankle and my knee are dramatically better after receiving chiropractic treatment from my friend, Dr. Thomas, the last couple Mondays. So I'm going to continue to do that. And I believe that the stem cells are helping me heal better. Maybe I'm crazy and wrong. Maybe not. Maybe we'll never know, but I'm documenting all this so that people can make their own decisions about this. My shoulder, as I told you, was doing much better just a few days after the treatment around December 23rd or so, but I've re-injured it just playing too much dodgeball. I played in a tournament in Sacramento a couple Saturdays ago, which was probably pretty stupid, but it was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm just committing to playing dodgeball only on Wednesday nights in a social league and taking it more easy on my shoulder so hopefully it can continue to heal. So um, as far as the 200 million mesenchymal stem cells I had infused via IV and went into my lungs and my heart and probably other areas in my internal body, um, I had no real problems. So I did that to kind of see if I could see any type of crazy miraculous benefits. The only thing that I can say is when I'm playing basketball and we're at like two, two and a half hours, a lot of the guys are exhausted. I'm basically still just warming up and feel great. Last Saturday, I played two and a half hours of basketball at 6.30 in the morning, then drove up to Sacramento and played dodgeball in a tournament for six hours with primarily guys in their early 20s to mid to late 20s. I'm 33. Most of these guys were dead at the end of this and I felt great. So I don't know if that's stem cells. I don't know if that's my lifestyle. The true answer is it's probably all the things combined, but I'm leaving it up to the audience for you to decide. I'm super happy that I'm feeling good and in great shape. And it's really difficult to tell what the stem cells are doing for me at this time, but I'm gonna to continue to document it and get feedback from you, the community on the internet, and my friends and my family. So thanks for watching my two month mesenchymal stem cell update. The next video I'll be doing is a book review on the Telomere Miracle by Dr. Ed Park. This is his previous book, Telomere Time Bombs. I'm friends with Dr. Ed Park. He's a great person. I've just been friends with him on Facebook and got to meet him a year ago. I don't have the Telomere Miracle on me. My parents are reading it right now, but I read it on Kindle. I highly recommend it. So stay tuned for this book on how you can greatly improve your life on all sorts of health hacks like eating better sleep, exercising, nutrition, getting your mind right, all those types of fun things. So stay tuned for that video. Stay subscribed to this channel. Be sure to like this video if you haven't yet. Share it with a friend if you think they're curious about mesenchymal stem cells or if you think they might have some type of a musculoskeletal problem or any type of a chronic condition like um, Crohn's disease, Alzheimer's, diabetes, type 1 or type 2, Parkinson's, the list goes on and on and on. If it sounds crazy to you, like a, you know, too good to be true type of snake oil, just think, what did I tell you before? 
If you didn't have mesenchymal stem cells in your body, if you snapped your finger and they were all gone, you'd be dead within a minute. So that's how important mesenchymal stem cells are, and that's why they can really, really help heal all these chronic conditions. All right, we'll see you next time.